I'm going to demonstrate a way to remove silver tarnish from a silver trumpet. Uh, this tr uh, process will only work with silver trumpets, uh, silver plated, or any type of silver trumpet which does not have a lacquer finish. That's important. It cannot have a lacquer finish at all on it. Also, this process does not work with brass, nickel, copper, or gold plated horns either. It only works with silver. Ensure to, to, before we start with this, you got to make sure your horn is clean. You got to clean all the grease, oil, make sure it's, it doesn't have anything like that, fingerprints, um, other than the tarnish. We, that's what we're targeting here in order to get the tarnish off though. The horn needs to be clean. <clears throat> My brother, he, he picked this up at an auction recently. It looks like it hasn't been played for a while. It's got a lot of tarnish build up on it and such. I'm going to give it to my son, but I figured you may as well make it look halfway decent before I do. So this is the horn I'm going to show you with. And uh, hopefully when we're done here, uh, this really heavy tarnish black will be gone. Uh, first, I have to remove the valves. Um, don't have to, but I I'm going to because I don't want to uh, be exposing these to, to, to the hot temperatures, um, the, the soft seal materials and such. Um, so there you go. Tarnish, it isn't, it isn't a dirt or a, uh, any type of buildup of grime or anything like that. Tarnish is a result of a chemical called silver sulfide. Silver sulfide is formed as the silver reacts with the sulfur in the air. There are several ways to remove it. Generally, people remove it with the age-old method of rubbing and polishing. It works great, or else they'll use a chemical dip of some sort. However, each time the tarnish is rubbed off or dissolved off the instrument when these methods are used, uh, along with it is a portion of the silver finish. Tarnish is silver. It's silver oxide. So when you rub the tarnish off, well, you're taking effectively some of the silver off. Eventually, over a period of time, uh, the base metal will be exposed. It's just a matter of time. It will happen, if it, especially if it's just a plated instrument. Um, another way to deal with tarnish is by using an electrochemical process, which converts the silver sulfide back into silver. No silver is lost. During this process, we're going to go ahead and use water, hot water, we're going to use aluminum foil and electrolytic. The aluminum reacts with the silver sulfide and causes the sulfur atoms to be transferred over to the aluminum from the instrument. The silver atoms will remain on the silver surface of the horn. The baking soda, and in combination with the water, will serve as an electrolytic between the silver and the aluminum to allow for this process to occur. I've got most everything set up already. This is lukewarm water or hot water from the faucet. It's going to be about half of the water we're going to be requiring. And we have some just uh, regular baking soda, which is all, don't use salt or anything else. Um, no matter what you read or hear, keep it to baking soda. You don't want to use anything uh, uh, along the lines of salt. I've got a cup of water, it's about four gallons. Um, uh, I mean, I'm using a cup of baking soda. There's about four gallons of water there. I'm going to dissolve it first in this. This, this water here was boiled a little bit ago. And it's, it's fairly hot. And the, uh, the baking soda should dissolve here shortly. In the meantime, I'm going to go ahead and put my gloves on and dump this into here. That's where we want to have it, of course. So it looks like it's uh, mostly dissolved, which is good. It didn't take too long. I'm going to dump this in here. You need to be able to cover the instrument up. In this process. And we're almost there.
Now that we've got enough water, I'm going to go ahead and set aside a piece of aluminum foil. It needs to be at least the length of the instrument itself. And it needs to be in contact with the instrument. So a larger piece of foil would have been better, but this is what I had on hand. So we'll use it. And it needs to be, like I said, in contact with the instrument. fairly hot, but ideally it would be a little warmer. Alright, now that the instrument's dipped, um, during the process the aluminum is going to react with the silver sulfide. It's going to cause the sulfur atoms to be transferred over to the aluminum. The silver atoms remain on the silver surface. The baking soda in combination with the water serves as an electrolytic between the silver and aluminum allowing for this process to occur. This is the same process the museum has used to preserve some of their, well, their antiquities that, that over time would of course, you don't want to be polishing them. It's, uh, they, they protect them for one thing to keep them from tarnishing and another thing they want to preserve all the metal as soon as uh, they do require any tarnishing. I can see already that the, that the tarnish is, is actually coming off, not coming off, but being translate, transferred into um, silver and the aluminum is, is picking up. And it even smells of sulfur. I can smell it coming from the water, a sulfur smell. It's been about 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to be pulling it out here in a minute or so while I'm waiting. I'm going to demonstrate kind of what's going on here. Here's a mouthpiece I dug up out of the case here. It looks like someone chewed it up with a uh, pair of pliers to get it out. So anyway, that said, I'm going to go ahead and dip it real quick and show you um, what's going on as far as you'll see a big difference just by dipping it for a little bit. I'm going to put it in here and hold it so it, continuity wise it gets um, contact with the metal and I can't hold it too long this is hot leave it there You'll, you'll see a, a difference. Um, keep in mind, this was not it's it's not an abrasive or a, a chemical process. This is an, an electrochemical process. And uh, I'm going to pull the horn out and show you guys uh, what kind of job it did. It looks really nice. While it was in there, I rotated it four different times just to make sure that anywhere it was contacting a foil that it was actually floating in the solution itself for the electro for the electrochemical process to happen. Now if you remember when we started this how how uh, tarnished the horn was especially right here and uh, as you can see it's 10 times different. I didn't have to rub anything at all. 
and all the silver that was on the instrument to begin with is still there. Just the sulfur content of the silver sulfide has been moved over from the instrument through the, electro, through the electrolysis process over to aluminum foil and also emitted as gas. So anyway, after this is done, you need to rinse the instrument off with water, clean it maybe with a real, real soft detergent, uh, and then the instrument's ready to be clean and played. Uh, my son's going to love this. It's, it's a $50 instrument. It looked terrible in the case. Maybe that's why it went so cheap And uh, at auction. And it's a King 601. It should, it should play very well. It sure, certainly looks fantastic now. Uh, anyway, have a good day.